What's up boys? Welcome back to another private lesson. Today we got obviously another TVP. What else would we have, right? Got a nice TVP sent in by Lucas with the the question How do you finish a game against Protoss? Uh I was ahead all game and just couldn't couldn't end it, couldn't close it out. So let's see. I'm gonna I'm gonna try uh, to speed it up a little bit. I'm gonna try to focus a little bit more on the question instead of just doing uh, general analysis. Even though obviously I'm gonna try to look for some uh, mistakes in the builder as well. Might as well, right? Can't uh, can't hurt, I guess. So we're gonna go for a standard barracks gas here. I'll, I'll slow down in a bit, guys. No worries about it. Of course, uh, you guys might might want to keep up with the builder there as well. Nothing special happening so far. Actually, going for a, a nicely designed SCV scout. I think, by the way, uh, just just a small thing, guys. Uh, I don't know, Void Ray Rushing might be happening this patch again on one base, so you may actually want to start SUV scouting. Like I usually tell you guys, do it if you want to be safe, but most of the time I don't do it myself. But uh, after the Void Ray patch, I already got Void Ray cheesed, and uh, I think it may actually be a, a good moment to start scouting. So maybe start uh, using some more SUV scouting in your TVPs. Standard Reaper Expand, nothing to see here. Standard Core first from the Protoss player as well. This is around, uh, I believe, 4.5k MMR, by the way, for the people curious. It's like high diamond or something, you know, like mid diamond, I don't know. Something diamond. I thought I thought he was Masters, Lucas, but he told me he was diamond, so I guess it's high diamond. <laughs> Let's see, we should be going for a safety bunker here. There we go, all perfectly fine. Reaper scouting around as well. Actually, um, usually you don't have to scout around for a Reaper with your Reaper if you play this build. Because first of all, you saw two pylons, which means there's no proxy pylon out on the map yet. And also, if you play barracks first, you're going to have a, a, re a Marine. So you don't really need to keep the Reaper at home for the probe or anything like that. Normally, if you scout for proxy pylons, you should look if there's a second pylon missing. Obviously, they can fake it sometimes. But generally... If you do see a second pylon in their base, could also be here. This is the most common spot for the second pylon. Then you don't probably don't have to be looking for proxy pylons just yet. Right, let's check on your vision as well. See what you're gonna scout here. See, bunker finishes just in time uh, with the second depot SCV making the bunker. It's very nice. Okay, I think I slow it down a little bit now. So for everything good, I I, th I do think it's a it's a bit weird that your building positioning is over here. By the way, like uh, not just does it feel kind of far away randomly. Like what if you uh, get attacked at the front and you want to send a tank down there? It's pretty far. But also, uh, your barracks placement is gonna be a bit weird because you're gonna have to make one barracks like here and one barracks like here to fit on the add-on. So I don't know. It's if you, if you don't want to build them close to the edge, that's fine. But you can totally find build them here on this map. And you can build them here as well too if you're not afraid of a blink column. So it's like going for a mine drop, full scout with the Reaper, very nice. This is actually an advantage by the way of not sending your Reaper directly. Is that the Protoss, uh, like obviously they pay attention to the timing the first Reaper comes in, right? But uh, if you send it late or all the way around or you go Marine and then Reaper, uh, they usually won't be prepared for it. So now you actually just got a full scout and uh, two pro kills as well, which is really good. But you did see everything, right? Yeah, okay. Just making sure I'm not crazy. Just to go for charge first. But the rogue was too late to really have any kind of timing. So the, our Protoss friend is messing up the builder a little bit. But you just get... This Reaper has four kills, Lucas. Calm. This is this is not a YouTuber. I think I'm going to have to cancel this one, boys. <laughs> That's really sick. Uh, okay, Thirsty Sea going down. I mean, this is a bit greedy, but okay. Especially considering he, he had charge, you know. Imagine if he made his robo on time. War person would have showed up now. <laughs> yeah, a little bit scary, a little bit scary, but okay. Uh, it, it's just, it's a bit of a grittier build, but I don't know. It's still a perfectly fine build. I thought you were going to go for barracks, actually. Yeah, I, I have to say, man, your, your building positioning is just so weird. Like, how, how why are your add-ons here and then your barracks over here? Like it's you wanna you wanna swap those unless you're gonna make like five ravens or something from this star perk. You really try to like building position doesn't seem like it, it it matters too much, but it actually does. Like 
from this barracks to fly to here, that, that's, a, that's a pretty long uh, travel distance. That's like half a marine or something. Now that's pretty big. Building positioning is important, guys. And it doesn't have to be complicated. You can make it uh, as easy as you want. You can do the same on every map. We can adapt to new maps if you want to make it a bit harder, I guess. Uh, okay. Honestly, I think uh, this guy misclicked on the charge. Judging from what he has. Mr. Uh, Vavin over here. Because uh, he made six stalkers and is going to a row of base. So he probably clicked on the upgrade with the mouse and uh, pressed the wrong upgrade, I think. But so, so far it's going fantastic. Like, you, you were greedy and you didn't get punished. And now you're going to be in a great spot. Oh, this was a tournament game? Oh, cool. Okay. Interesting. Well, let's see what you're going to do next. So, so far it's looking pretty good, obviously. Uh, like, I'm not going to harp on you too much for your macro mistakes. Like, uh, your barracks are a bit slow, stuff like that. But... General line looks very good. Um, gonna yeah, exactly. Gonna add some more barracks now. You know, m maybe a little bit slow on the macro, but at at this point, I wouldn't say it's like a, a a problematic. You know, like it's just like you're ahead. It's it's looking pretty good. Obviously, things you could improve on. This this supply block is pretty nasty though. That's like a solid forty second supply block. But personally, um. Just, just a tip for supply blocks, guys. I think like most of it is just habit. And yeah, you, you, sh you should never really be supplied supply blocked unless you're getting distracted, to be honest. Like I just always look at the supply. If it's getting somewhat close, I start some depots. Like uh, if, if you, if you want to work on it, you can just make it a habit to just look at it every like five, 10 seconds. Like it, it, you can do it very fast. It doesn't really take a lot of attention and it's probably going to help you out a lot. Uh, yeah, against that because it, in this case, like he didn't do anything. But imagine if he was doing a timing attack, you probably would have missed out on the on a bunch of units from all your barracks. So, so supply blocks are actually very important in my opinion. I feel like sometimes more important than actually spending your money properly. Another now, uh, see, see now it's starting now it's starting to look like it's actually a frequent problem with you. Um, another massive supply block here. Like, in total, you already missed out on, like, almost two minutes of production in this game, which is a pretty big deal. Like, how long does a Marine take to produce? Like, 20 seconds? That's, like, uh, six Marines for one barracks. Now you have five barracks, you know, do the math, I guess. It's pretty bad. Okay. Now we get to the important part. You, you haven't really scouted anything. Uh, so far, it's not too relevant. It does look like you're kind of blindly making your army composition. Like, just to get back to the main question of the of the replay, guys, how do I end the game against Protoss? Uh, well, I always say the most important thing is army composition, and that's also with... Uh, has a lot to do with ending the game against Protoss. Like, this guy made one Colossus, and is going into Disruptors now. And you actually haven't scouted his army composition at all, really. You, you scouted three gases only. And with, with the scouting you have, which is very minimal, this looks like it's just a mass Zealot Stalker. But in reality, he actually has all of his gases. He actually has a very defensive uh, position, and you need to be able to you need to scout to be able to adapt your unit composition to what he has mostly. Like that's actually the biggest thing in TVP. If like if if you attack with mass Viking against someone that only has disruptors, like la landed Vikings don't do well against those kind of things because you can't drop. Uh, you can't fight with landed Vikings against disruptors. Imagine having marauders that can't stim. Against uh, Disruptor Balls, yeah, I, I, I don't have to uh, <laughs> explain how it goes, I think. I do have to say, you're, you're out macroing this guy pretty heavily, so despite the supply blocks, it does look like your macro level is still a little bit ahead of your uh, opponents at this MMR, so that, that's a pretty positive sign. If you would fix those supply blocks, another massive supply block incoming, by the way, um, yeah, you, you would out micro, out macro this guy so hard, and that, that's a pretty good sign, because supply block is probably... The easiest macro issue to fix, I think. It's, it's literally just the habit of looking there. And this is already your... Uh, I feel like I've, I've looked at the supply three times in this game. And every time you were massively supply look. Still no depot in sight. This one's even bigger than, than the others, you see. That's probably going to add to like three minutes of uh, missed production. Like you, you would have been on like uh, 220 supply by now, you know. <laughs> Without the supply blocks. All right, so just like I said, it seems like it's continuing. Uh, you're not scouting at all, and you're producing double reactor Vikings against the guy going disruptor storm, uh, and that's that's pretty problematic because 
You can hit a timing at max supply or with 2-2. Like here you have a pretty decent 2-2 timing. And you might be able to kill him. But there's also a decent chance you can't. Because like with that many Vikings, uh, no Liberators, no Ghost, uh, no more Medivacs. It's just going to be hard to fight against someone with Disruptor Storm. Now you do have a Ghost. Uh, that that's really good to always like go, ghosts are pretty much you you make them against most things you know against zealot archon you can make a lot of ghosts even against non zealot archon armies you always make like at least a few uh, so that's good but you're you're spending a lot of money spamming Vi like Vikings are so expensive guys ten Vikings that's uh, a lot of minerals like fifteen hundred minerals I guess uh, and yeah that's that's just a shit ton of money let's see now we're now we're getting to the part where you like. You probably watched this replay. I don't know if you felt like you were ahead during this game. Because it's kind of hard to tell that you're out macroing the guy this hard. Because you really are. Uh, I don't think we even lost a lot. He lost, he lost a bunch of probes to the replay at the start. And that's about it really. Uh, you're out macroing this hard. But I imagine you watched the replay and saw that you're really far ahead. And that you weren't able to close out the game. Now, uh, if I had to guess at this point, it's just that you made an absurd amount of Vikings. Let's look at the marine count. Marine count also too high, of course. I think uh, we talked about this before as well. Uh, tech lab count looks pretty healthy, but I guess um, you didn't sacrifice any Marines with drops. Now remember to try uh, to hit your timing all the time. Like in this game, um, you were passive and you were ahead and you ne never sacrificed any Marines. So now you end up with an army that's 46 Marines. Now ideally you always want to have about 50-50 Marauder Marine ratio. So this would have been like 25-25, whatever. Um, 30 30 but with 46 marines your army is very fragile and like one storm a few colossal swipes in this case he doesn't have a lot of colossus but uh, a lot of things could instantly kill your army even if you're up in supply so at this point uh, a pretty huge problem the army composition i don't know exactly what's going to happen of course but 10 vikings and uh, 40 marines that's uh 60 supply that's not that uh well spent i guess ideally would have had like 10 more marauders or maybe even more if you got rid of the Vikings. And let's see, like, now you can see how bad the Vikings really are. Uh, they killed maybe one Zealot. Took some really big Disruptor hits as well. Let's, uh, let's go back a little bit and look at the Micro exactly. Okay, so, rule number one. I said it in my other TCP video too, but I'm gonna keep telling you guys those important rules. If a guy has Disruptors, and that's, I would say, more than two. That's when it started becoming a lot of disruptors. You do not fight from one angle. As soon as you see this guy has disruptors. Uh, Storm maybe as well. But Storm you can mostly just fall back and EMP and stuff. But disruptors, they have a big range. And the, and the disruption novas are fast. Always attack from two angles. The moment you saw this army. You should have sent like half here. Or maybe even up here for a big flank. And then you can fight. Like, you simply cannot attack into Disruptor from one angle. He's going to shoot balls. And you're going to either have to retreat or take them. Or try to YOLOs for 20 split. Whatever. It doesn't really work that well. Also, something I noticed. You only have two medevacs. Uh, I always say at least four with the main army. Uh, maximum six. But when you're maxed, you definitely should have six. So, the healing potential of your army is very small. Okay, took a really big disruptor hit there. Honestly, the micro, the micro is not so bad. You, you probably realized you couldn't escape and you targeted a lot of disruptors. Like, uh, you, you reacted a bit late, but honestly, the micro is pretty good there. Storm's actually not damaging too much, surprisingly. Like, this, this looks like a good fight in the end. Uh, a pretty big problem here is that you... You right click your medevacs with your army. Like I'm just trying to break this fight down completely because it's important. You right click your medevacs with the army not allowing them to heal. Let me let me show you again. I don't know if it starts here. Look look at the medevacs. You see, your medevacs are not healing these red units at all. You look at the energy on the medevacs. They actually didn't get the heal at all during this fight. They they healed like two marines or something. Like uh, you have to be careful with that. Try to try to not right click that much. Uh, a lot of times you just you just a move, and uh, then you do the micro you need. You pull a few marines back, or you you send some bio forward. You EMP or whatever. But besides that, this fight was honestly pretty good. Uh, the biggest mistakes were actually fighting into disruptors. 
like I said, never fight into disruptors from one angle. And the army composition was totally off. Like I, I just, I just have to say it again. I'm sorry, but no medevacs, way too many Vikings, way too many Marines. It was the army composition was completely off, and that was the main issue. Like. Trust me, guys, if you have a good army composition here, you will literally aim of him and win the fight. So uh, pay attention to those things, because those are things you can easily fix. Like, it's hard to tell you, oh, why don't you just uh, micro better, you know? <laughs> like, I can tell you guys that, but the, the, the easy things to fix that are actually going to save you a lot of MMR, things like that. Like, look at your army composition. I'm, I'm telling you guys right now what is the right thing to build, and you guys can implement that very easily. So even now we're still in a pretty good spot, obviously. Uh, like like I said, we out micro out macroed him so hard. You're making your sixth base. Well, his fourth is finished. Normally, Protoss is ahead in bases by about one against Terran. So yeah, you, you can see how 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 sick this is. Only 67 workers for the Protoss as well. Like this is just great. Let's see what's gonna happen next. So at this point. Um, what you do to end the game once again is you, you just rebuild the proper army. That, that's one advantage of trading armies. That's why I always say uh, drop marines to trade them out. If you lose your entire army, you can rebuild the perfect army, right? So in this scenario, you should be making a lot of marines or a lot of marauders especially. Have a few ghosts in there. Li liberators are an option. Um, personally, I would not recommend making liberators without range. So if you get libs, definitely go for that fusion core. But I, I honestly think it makes a lot of sense. Like this guy, uh, he, he's, not, he's not spamming a lot of Colossus, so you don't need a lot of Vikings. You know, Medivacs reach their limit at some point if you have like four to six with your main army. Obviously, you could use a few more here. So making Liberators with plus two attack makes a lot of sense for sure. And now let's see. How was the Marine Rudder count? Like you're still... <laughs> Making way too many. This is this. Is, I'm pretty sure this is exactly what it was before. Maybe it was even even worse. I don't know. But you're making so many marines. Marines don't do anything against this this army, guys. Why are you guys so upset with making marines? Stop making so many marines. 50-50, guys. 50-50. Not whatever this is. 20 to 47 marines. Holy moly, guys. That's actually just crazy. Okay. Hey, that was a gorgeous fight, actually. I, I, that was actually a very good fight. Good EMP, snipe the disruptor. Okay, looking good. Once again, by the way, missing Medivax. As you can see by our units being all yellow. Let's see what's gonna happen here. Take a really big disruptor shot. These also never unloaded. I, I feel like, I don't know if it's panic, but I feel like you're just a bit uh, sloppy here. Like th these Medivax have been full ever since this fight started over here and they like Terran is a momentum race but it doesn't mean that you can't be patient like if you take a fight against Protoss you always have to take it well if you stim in like this like you have, you're, you have 50 supply more but stimming in like this is not a good idea first of all before a big fight you always want to heal up your units uh, Terran units just lose a lot of value because you stim all the time and you need to heal them up before another fight. You could be maxed and honestly lose to a 120 supply protos if you don't heal up your units. Like you need to heal them up. Uh, ideally, you, you finish your army composition. Well, in this case, it's a little bit too late for this fight, but at least wait for those reinforcements. You, you, have, you have some quality here. You have three ghosts, four liberators. Like this army you have right here is just trash. And I feel like a lot of players fall into the trap where it looks like you're winning and then you just go for it but a lot of time it's better to be patient in these cases obviously uh this costs you a lot right but i feel like most of these mistakes just happen because everything is so rushed if you reinforced healed up your units uh this is this is an easy easy wipe like you will you will destroy him and th this is a mistake i see a lot from you guys you guys it looks like you're winning and you will just just bulldozer in there but like be patient, grab the army that you want, and most importantly, heal your units before you fight. Like now we're still in a good spot. Like this is this is all a macro victory. The, the battles have been, some fights were okay. Uh, actually, m most of the fights were okay, just bad army composition. And we're still in a good spot because we've out macroed him. 
And now, look, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Why is there seven? You have, you have five barracks with tech labs, and you're making seven seven marines. I, well, you do have three ghosts on the way, actually. So you're only not using one. I, I didn't see the ghost there for a second. But you, you're just, you're just making too many marines. Like the way I say, if you play against the high tech Protoss, you have four tech labs for one reactor, and then when you max out uh, on barracks, I mean. You can have them almost all tech labs, except for maybe two. And right now, like, instead of four, you're producing, uh... Ooh, that was rough. You're producing seven marines at a time, and you're... Yeah, you, you just... You end up with this all the time. Like, marines, they just... <sighs> marines, guys. How about we make some juicy marauders? For once, okay. Marauders, 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 marauders. Like, mar marines are... To be honest, guys, Marines are good against Zealots, okay? If someone plays Zealot heavy, you make more Marines, because they have a higher DPS. Marauders are not that great against Zealots. But I guess, like, anything else Protoss has... Stalkers, Colossus, Immortals, High Templars, Archons... It, Marauders are just better. You, like, Marauders are better than Marines in, in this matchup. Unless they spam Zealot Archon. And so just make more Marauders, guys, please. If I see one more marine spammer, I might cry. And you don't want that, do you? And uh, another chronic issue in, in, in this game is that... Uh, you, you really don't like Medivax. Like... You have so much money, and you have uh, so many production facilities, and you're not even making a single air unit. Now obviously there's no Vikings to make, even Liberators would not be great here, but... Like before we had two medivacs, now we have zero. Finally some medivacs. I think I think you should, rather than focusing, because maybe it's complicated to ha keep track of like all the units you have all the time. But maybe you should in specific, you Lucas, should just focus on making more medivacs. When you think you have enough, just make a few more. Okay, and it can, uh, it, it's definitely going to help you if you have some more medivacs. Like Terran armies are strong guys, you just need to do it right, okay. Yeah, I'm not talking about the micro. Lately, lately I've been streaming games against Protoss and I, I mess everything up, but I still win the fight just because I, I've learned how to make good armies. And look at the macro. The macro is insane, man. Just this little thing with the army composition and you're gonna be a god. Look at this beautiful macro. Even getting the plus three for the air attack. It's like, it's beautiful. It's like a diamond. Shining bright. It's actually, actually very nice to watch. Look, look, at, look at the macro difference. We already established it, but look at it. Just that one little thing to work toward the army composition, and you would gain a lot of MMR, at least in this matchup. And th that's also like the only reason you haven't been able to close out the game. Well, also the fact that you rush in a bit. Um, and then I just sometimes people think like changing something like that is like a small difference, you know? But like fixing your army composition could easily give you 500 bar MMR. I'm not even kidding, guys. Small, small, small things make a big difference. Like, actually. Trust me, guys. No, this is, this is very well done. You were just passive, waiting for him to attack into you. That was very nice. And it, it, yeah, I like, uh, I don't, I don't even want to say it anymore. Just, just look at it. Like, I, sw oh. I, I don't want to repeat myself all the time, but. <laughs> this game would be so easy if you made marauders. Where are my marauders at? All right. Also, one thing you could do if you lack medivacs is just not drop. Like in this case, again, you don't have enough medivacs with your main army, but you're still dropping. If you really have a problem to produce medivacs, just keep them all with your main army. Like the, the, the big fight, like we know, we play Starcraft, guys. We know the big fights are just the most important. You can, you can kill 17 pros, but if you get owned in a big fight, you're dead. So if you really have this problem that you can't make enough medivacs, just... To stop dropping and keep them with your main army. Because these drops are good, you know. But if, if they cost you the big fight, then that's not worth it. So we got another base here. Let's look at the army composition for the next fight. Um, at this point, it's going to be pretty good for him, I think. Two Colossus, five Disruptors, 18 Stalkers. I heard like a weird sound, but I think it was this thingy. I'm, I'm not sure what I heard. Okay. At, at this point, I'm getting... This is the first time in the game I'm scared for you guys. Like, he caught up. 
in supply and and yeah not yet in eco that, that's probably because you murdered like a million pros 37 but uh his army is definitely stronger than you 50 marines i've never seen that many useless units together what does it look like okay let's see how we're gonna handle this i'm gonna play slow motion maybe pay a little bit more attention to the micro again first of all obviously if you see this you retreat right like you can't fight this oh, actually the ghost backing up that's very nice okay really good micro so far do i want to continue this Oh, you did, you did have enough ghosts for this. That's really nice. Um, yeah, ba basically, the more Archons they have, the more ghosts you want to have. It's that simple, really. Uh, yeah, this, this is actually starting to kind of look like an even game here. If you manage to stabilize. Uh, okay, let, let's go back one more time, guys. Let's do it one more time. Let me tell you, you need to make more Archers on the time. Okay. Uh, same problem as the entire game. Let's see. Well, I think actually a big problem here was just anticipation. Um, I feel like you didn't really see the army coming and you were fighting with like this half at the front and then the rest was all behind. Uh, and anticipation is important. Very important for a Terran is the concave, guys. Uh, if you were in a concave in this army, you had your MPs ready. Even when you have too many Marines, you, you smash it, to be honest. This army looks intimidating, but if you have Ghost, those Archons are pretty much all gone. And... Um, yeah, honestly, if you were on top of the rank with a concave, this is a this is a wash, completely easy cleanup for you there. And yeah, to to be honest, all, all these mistakes you make, they they seem very fixable. And that's that's what makes me happy. Like I feel like uh, after this video and and after a little bit more practice, you can actually do a, a lot better in this matchup. The macro is very good, and I'm, I'm I'm proud of that. Obviously, we're making eight marines. Why not? Definitely gonna help against those lasers. Sorry if I sound tilted. <laughs> oh, and now, and this is a, this is a, a fantastic position. This is this is what a TVP fight is supposed to look like. Obviously, you don't have great numbers, but this is what it's supposed to look like. When you play against disruptors, you come from two sides, and like even right now, they, they don't have any nova, so obviously, it sounds a bit silly. But those disruptors are really exposed if you come from two sides. Usually, what happens? is if there's a big army here, they will be forced to fire all their Novas kind of in wild directions. And all you have to do is like, what you have to micro once, pull back once, or actually just go for the surround and you got it. Obviously now he has the Zealot reinforcements, which is going to be very tough to deal with, considering the low amount of units you have. And uh, we're actually going to lose this game after a bunch of uh, misengagements, miss army composition. I, I don't really feel like I have to put a conclusion here. But I will stop making 5 million marines, make some marauders, make some medevacs, and uh, your TVP will look 20 times as good. Uh, also, a big mistake was attacking here so rushed instead of gathering your army. Like I said, guys, be patient when you fight. Heal up your army, uh, gather the units you actually need, like those extra ghosts, and then go for it. Like, don't rush into it. Well, um, I don't know. I, I feel frustrated by all the marines, but... I hope I was able to help. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Love you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Turn on the notifications. See you guys next time. Adios.